Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to use these smooth commands in Maya to add more detail to our object. Now, whenever we start modeling inside Maya, we start with lower polygon objects and then we start adding more and more detail to it as we require as we move on and then we start adding more and more detail to it as we move forward. Now, in order to take a look at the smooth command, let's create a box. And let's give it a little bit more resolution so we can see the smooth command in action. I'm going to give it 15 by 15. All right, now suppose this is the object that we wanted to create. Now we have finished with our low poly modeling and we want to add more detail to it. Uh, in order to do that, you need to select the object that you want to smooth and go to your mesh menu and select the smooth option from here. Right now, let's go into the options of our smooth command. And here you have a lot of different settings that you can play with. Right now, we're going to keep all of these at default and apply smooth. Now, as soon as we click on it, you can see we have this pop up menu that says divisions. These are basically your subdivision levels. Now, every phase that we had previously, uh, when the subdivision is at one, that phase is now divided into four phases. And you can see it does another thing to our object. It averages out the corner that don't have a supporting edge loop. It smooths and averages out the sharp edges and makes them rounder. You can also increase and decrease the subdivision levels. You can increase it as many times as you want, but be careful about that. The more subdivisions you give it, the more polygons it will have. And the heavier the object is, the harder time Maya has calculating it. So keep the subdivision levels and poly count of your objects as low as possible. And when you apply smoothing to your object, you can also find the smooth node in the attributes of your object. If you go to your attribute and select the poly smooth face node, which we have right here, you can also change some of these settings from down here. Now, there are also often times when you want to smooth the objects, but you also want to retain the lower polygon version of your object. You can also do that. First, let's undo this. And if you remember in our previous lessons, we discussed you can switch your view modes through pressing the keys from one to seven. The first key being your default view, the second key being your smooth view with gauge on and the third key being your smooth preview option. In this smooth preview mode, you can interact with your object in the low poly mode, but it will show you a preview of how your object will look when you smooth it. Now by default the smooth preview mode is set to three subdivisions you can increase and decrease those by pressing the page down and page up key and you can edit your object in the low poly mode and it will give you a preview of how your object will look when you subdivide it. Let's undo this again and you might have noticed that when we smooth our object it takes away the sharp edges. You can sharpen those edges again by either adding supporting edge loops or creasing that particular edge. Let's first take a look at how you can work with the supporting edge loops. So let's first select our edge. Go to your mesh tool and select offset edge loop and you can change the value of your offset here by dragging your middle mouse button left to right. Now we want to keep it closed for a sharper edge. Now you can see that we have a sharper edge on this side compared to the other side just because now we have given supporting edges to this edge to make it sharper and we haven't done this here. So this is one way you can control the sharpness of your edge. You can also do this with creasing. Now let's go to the other side and select this edge and shift plus right click on your object and select the crease tool from here. Now just as we did with the offset edge loop, you can increase the level of your creasing by dragging the middle mouse button left to right. And as we drag to the right while holding our middle mouse button down, you can see we now have a sharper edge here. Because now Maya knows it needs to sharpen this edge. And you might have noticed that the creased edges have a little bit thicker wireframe compared to the other edges. It is done just so you can identify them easily. So these were the few ways you can add more detail to your object. Uh, you can either use the smooth option or you can work with the smoothing surfaces. And if you want to sharpen your corners, you can either give them supporting edge loops or you can crease them. So that's it for this video. And as always, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you want to support me directly, the link to my merch store and my Patreon is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.